So why is Europe so great for street photography? Today I want to talk about my experience of doing street photography while in my travels to Barcelona and Amsterdam and overall my experience in going to Europe to do street photography from the previous years. One of the things that I really enjoy doing is just walking around the streets of cities that I go visit to document and see what kind of photos I can get, whether it's from people, kind of documentary style with street photography, architecture, and anything that captures my eyes. Recently in my trip to Europe, when I was going to Barcelona, Rotterdam, and Amsterdam, I noticed that Europe overall is such a haven when it comes down to street photography. Yes, of course, there are the typical cities like New York City that has really great street photography, but that's kind of one of the fewer cities in general for me in the US that has something going on at all times to capture where it has great architecture, people, and everything that you can see that captures an eye for society in a sense when it comes down to street photography. Now, why do I think that Europe is superior when it comes down to street photography? Well, it comes down to these three things. Firstly, it all comes down to how walkable the cities are and the public transit when it comes down to experiencing the city and going around and about to just see everything that you can find which means that if you're able to do it others will be able to do it as well street photography is great when you have people walking around and just enjoying the city outside so that you're able to capture people doing just everyday lifestyle things to create a story with your photos for me personally i love seeing people just going about their day seeing what they're doing that could be maybe interesting to me or i can make a story out of the photo so that when people see it it's something of a feeling or an emotion motion and trying to get something that would be creative with the framing and everything while people are out and about and especially if you have some architecture behind it where it can make it a bonus. Having cities like in Europe that are just mainly more for walkable kind of situations with the public transit it allows you to have more people you know be diverse out and doing things where you can actually go ahead and capture that. Cities here like in Texas, we don't really have that. You can go downtown like Houston, Dallas, Austin. You might have some people that might be interested in here and there, but it's not as common for people to be walking about all the time. So you're not gonna be able to capture as many things as you would like to. Walking around Barcelona, for example, going into where the Sagrada Familia was, you're able to see a lot more people just being out and about, just experiencing the cities because it's a walkable city. There are many cars and there are public transit, but people are out and about experiencing the city. So you're able to capture a lot of situations with subjects that are interesting to get some cool little street photography styles of shots. Now, places like Amsterdam, where they're really known for walking and they're cycling, that you're able to really have have people out and about pretty much at all times of the day it's really nice to be able to capture them just experiencing their you know their day their whatever they're wanting to do for kind of like an outgoing that is really cool to capture for street photography you're able to capture people maybe taking their selfie at the you know the bridge that they found in the canals or just seeing the people that are just interacting with one another or maybe some cyclist kind of going around that just has a cool framing as well as just experiencing the train station that has something always is going on. And for me, that's something that I've noticed that makes it a lot more of a nice place to be for street photography. For me, I was able to point and shoot my camera almost anywhere when it came down to walking around in Barcelona, Amsterdam, or Rotterdam, and get something cool out of it. Because it comes down to the next thing. We got awesome architecture. Architecture in Europe to me is obviously a little bit more superior than most places, especially like in the US because there almost is none. Architecture in Europe is obviously a lot older. So you have a lot of that older kind of mix with the new that it makes it more intriguing for people to want to take photos of because of the history that is so rich in the architecture that it makes sense to take photos of. So when you're out and about doing some street photography, you're bound to take a cool photo of a subject with a nice background to make it more enticing to take. In the US, I really don't have that unless I'm in maybe New York City or the bigger cities like maybe Chicago kind of style, which I've had actually haven't gone to experience in Chicago with more photography. I've done it for music when I used to tour. So I'm keen to maybe go there to see if there's anything cool to experience. But here in Texas, you don't really get much when it comes down to street photography in downtowns. People are not really walking around. The architecture behind them isn't really that great, which kind of doesn't make it as exciting to take photos of people when you don't have 
have a good scenery. And I know somebody's gonna say, well, you have to be a good photographer to make the photo intriguing and everything, which to a certain degree, I totally agree with that. But in reality, I also believe that the location should inspire you. And if all you're seeing are really modern buildings that are just from downtown that don't have any character to them, it's just an office building that has pretty much nothing, it's not really feeling that much you know, inspiring. Look at New York City, a lot of the buildings are more modern and newer to a certain degree. You have obviously the older ones, but it has some sort of character to them and the people and everything that it makes me want to create. There's a little bit more going on than just simply putting up buildings just to put up and call it a downtown that nobody is able to walk around anyway. Because here in Texas, most of the downtowns are not meant for people to walk around and experience. They're more there to go to your job and then leave. So it's not really you know, exciting to have that architecture to go capture anything because people are not walking around and the architecture just kind of sucks. Because if we bring it back to Amsterdam and you know Rotterdam and then Barcelona, the architecture just makes sense. You have a lot of the base ground of buildings where you have people that you know go shopping in those sections right there because above them they live in it, which is really nice to see because that makes people want to go out to walk and everything. While you have some nice architecture to basically provide people to want to be downtown or live downtown so that they can walk around it while you also have a lot of character in their architecture. To me, that really brings a lot more, you know, inspiration to be able to capture people, capture the buildings and everything that you're capturing to tell a story that you can piece together, perhaps, that just makes a lot of sense to me. And I don't get that really much anywhere else here in the US and even in other countries that I've been to. So it's kind of nice to see overall in Europe, it's really nice to have that kind of architecture and stuff like that. It reminds me a lot of my hometown in Mexico because it's very Spanish influence. So we have a lot of that old, you know, architecture that you can walk around the cities and everything like that. And you have pretty good amounts of people doing something with a nice background because of the architecture, especially where I'm at from downtown. It's like almost law that you cannot renovate the outside. It has to be only the inside. So you keep that characteristic there, which makes it a lot nicer to experience because keep that history of the architecture intact and it makes people you know want to go see it but overall in Amsterdam you would just see a lot of like that older kind of style of architecture whether it was the, the kind of like the church towers or the buildings themselves were just a lot older with a mix of a few you know newer houses and everything like that but all close together to each other to just make something more intriguing to the eye I was able to see the train station that has just really good quality you know architecture it looks really nice so whenever you take a photo of a subject as they're walking towards the train station, you get a nice photo. So things like that make it a lot more superior that it's just so nice to capture street photography because the architecture overall just makes sense of how much characteristic it has that it really is gonna make your photo stand out more even when you're not as an experienced photographer, but it helps you understand more, you know, the, just the sights to see to inspire you to take more photos and keep learning faster. And that's something that makes it more intriguing for me when it comes on to street photography that if I wanna shoot more, I'll get better at it. And now when it comes down to the last point, it really is just this. The fashion of Europeans to me is a lot more superior when it comes down to the people in the US in general. Not saying that, you know, put them ne next to each other, they're gonna do better overall. But while I was out there, I would experience the people just looking just nicer. They had an incentive to dress up. They would have actually good outfits and everything presentable where you just wanna capture them. They would catch your eye in general. You would have obviously like in anywhere, you'll have people that might look nicer, that might not look as nice. But overall, the percentage of people always dressing up relatively nicely to impress almost was higher when I was in Europe than when I experienced it here in the US. In Texas, I saw everybody wear shorts and a shirt because it's hot out and I get that, but there's no trying to look a little bit nicer and presentable when you go out to do just common things. Even in Mexico, it's kind of known to relatively dress up no matter where you're going, even if you're going to the supermarket and everything because you want to present yourself in a higher standard for yourself so that people see you that, in a sense, you take care of yourself and that you take yourself seriously because you don't wanna just have some random outfit that you put together in five minutes that is not really, you know, nice, if that makes sense. And it might trigger some people in that aspect of that thought saying like, oh, well, not everybody can afford certain things and whatnot. And I totally get that. But you you still see people make do with what they got. I mean, the salaries in Europe compared to the US are a lot lower than the US. Obviously, the comfort of living in the, the Europe in general can be a lot more, you know, coinciding with their income. So they're able to afford certain things that make sense for them to go out and create, like in a sense for better 
better outfits and stuff. So it's something that makes you want to capture more. For me, seeing a nice person just dressed up in a certain way with the architecture in the background and just walking around because you have those people walking around consistently, which is part of the points that I'm trying to make here, is just that combination makes it so nice for street photography. And I felt so inspired because of that. It just really made sense when it came down to walking around for so much when we were out there. I mean, we would average about 22,000 steps a day walking around, taking photos. And that's why I did a lot of kind of POV street photography videos which I mean I've put out a couple already and I have like one more to put out so be on the lookout I guess for that but it just makes you feel inspired to just go out to create and for me creating those POV street photography videos not every shot might be the best one or the perfect one or anything but it helps me you know progress into my framing, my setups, the light, and everything that I'm trying to find with the subject. How are they dressed, the location, architecture, and how are they walking? Are they in the trams? Are they in their bicycle? Or anything like that to create a nice street photography style photo shoot while I'm just simply walking around and exploring a city. And that's something that I really think that we're missing out here in the US. We have no walkable cities, no public transit that makes sense. If you do, it's really just in the downtown, downtown area that doesn't connect to anything which doesn't allow you to see people be out and about anymore and that's kind of the sad part about trying to do street photography where I live especially because I know there's going to be some cities that have it and that's understandable but it seems so minimal compared to going to Europe going to Rotterdam which is a smaller city outside of Amsterdam you still see so many people out and about walking and everything which makes it so nice to create street photography and that's why I think Europe overall is just superior when it comes down to street photography you have walkable cities you have people always dressing to impress and as well as just having nice architecture from their history that is so nice and I honestly wish that the architecture here in the US and in general people would bring some of that older kind of character that they used to have in architecture to bring into the modern style because you'll see it in others you know in Rotterdam I saw it quite a bit with the newer uh, kind of architecture that they had because it was bombed when it came down to I think World War II it was destroyed a lot of it so they had to rebuild so it just made sense and hopefully we'll get more of that when it comes down to you know future creations of architecture and cities where they can be more walkable and everybody can enjoy it to create better street photographies. But that's pretty much my thought when it came down to being in Europe and everything. And I just really thought it was something worth mentioning when it came down to street photography because a lot of people tend to like those kind of type of videos and I appreciate everybody that watches them so thank you so much for that I just hope that I can make more of them eventually by visiting more places that I can walk around and people are walking around and capture you know the aesthetic of their you know their look I mean you see it in New York City all the time that's why people love going to New York City but I don't want to have to only be in New York City for that you know Europe you can just kind of throw a dart to somewhere in the map and you'll find something intriguing to see because people experience experience life differently in a slower pace, but to enjoy it, not just because or you know, anything else. So hopefully we'll see more of that. And I appreciate everybody, you know, watching and this kind of like thought process when it came down to street photography. And hopefully if you ever wanting to go to Europe, you go and enjoy and do some street photography and pace yourself, enjoy the moment and just capture whatever your heart desires. But with all that said and done, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe, share this video with a friend. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.